Our older hen is egg bound and we're gonna show you how to treat an egg bound chicken. The first thing you wanna do is a salt bath. You can use pink salt or Celtic salt or Epsom salt. Fill it up with warm water and then set your chicken in for 15 to 20 minutes, making sure that the bottom half of her is completely submerged. They'll usually relax into warm water, but you want to be prepared to hold her down in case she does wanna jump out. Massage her underbelly from top to bottom. I've mixed a pinch of this herb just for strong wellness immune support. With these herbs and some water. I've also mixed some yogurt here with just a little bit of water, enough for me to get into a syringe. This is just organic yogurt with probiotics that I'm gonna give her for calcium. The chicken may be hesitant to drink or she might not be interested in eating or drinking, but with the a syringe, you can gently pour a little bit on her beak and she will drink it up and open up her beak every now and then and take some in. This is how you take care of a chicken. You put some coconut oil in its booty. This part isn't so fun, but it can help lubricate the glands in order to help more easily an egg pass through. With gloves and coconut oil, you want to just gently massage the perineum and very gently and slightly insert the coconut oil. Wrap up your chicken in a warm towel and make sure that she is nice and dry before putting her back. In this case, we're keeping her inside because she's an older chicken and we're not so sure that she's going to make it. Unfortunately, we didn't know that the lack of eggs was due to her potentially being egg bound. We had thought that it was more over a case of all of our chickens laying in another place. So we're afraid that we've caught her a little bit too late. We're keeping her inside overnight. You can see how she's really unable to even walk and her tail is pointing down. We are feeding her a mix of scrambled eggs, yogurt, mealworms, and eggshell to help rapidly increase her calcium uptake. I'm sorry to say that the next morning this hen did not make it and we believe it's due to old age. The reason being is that because we give them grit in the form of oyster shells, eggshell scraps, and argonite in their feed. Here is the shell of our other leghorn, the sister, and you can see how soft it is. Here's the egg of one of our younger chickens, and it's much harder. So we had some skepticism as to whether or not that chicken was egg bound or what's called water belly. Um, but she didn't make it. And so we're butchering her right now. And we have come to find out it was definitely egg bound. Look at all of the eggs that she had mature, five of them that should have already been laid. And then of course, all the smaller ones that were in development through the oviduct. This was an incredible lesson to learn chicken anatomy. All of the yolks are formed without a shell. And as they pass through the oviduct, they get larger and eventually create the shell before being released. So what you're looking at here are all of the initial eggs that hadn't developed yet.